it's Brandy. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I wanted to go ahead and get this intro done so I can get this video up as soon as possible because I have been procrastinating like crazy. Today was the first day that I actually put this unit on and put some effort into making it look more realistic and things like that because this unit was made with the her hair company brazilian kinky curly hair i did an unboxing on this hair probably like over a month ago basically in love with the hair it's super amazing quality as always with her hair company i'm really digging this curl pattern and also this frontal because this is a first for a lot of things in this video my first time trying this particular hair texture and also my first time ever making a lace frontal unit now i went ahead and made it on camera and did kind of like a tutorial i use that term very loosely because i don't you guys can follow this tutorial if you want to if you feel like it's not the best for you then go and look at the other millions of videos on youtube but i wanted to go ahead and do it because a lot of you guys asked me to do it when i filmed the first video i said if you wanted to like walk through the process with me of learning how to make a lace frontal unit Anyway, I've been talking too long for this intro. If you guys are interested in seeing a tutorial on how I made my very first lace frontal unit using her hair company's kinky curly hair, then just stay tuned. <laughs> okay, you guys, so let's begin. What you will need to make this unit is first a wig cap. I'm choosing to use a dome cap because I like that it's really stretchable and still breathable for me. I'm also using nylon weaving thread because I feel like it's a lot more durable than cotton thread. You're also going to need a weaving pin along with lots of T-pins. And last but not least, you need your gorgeous lace frontal. Look at these curls. So taking your lace frontal, you want to line it up with the cap. I am overlapping the lace frontal a little bit just because I have a big head and I want to make sure it fits. And then I'm just putting it down with those T-pins, making sure that it's nice and secure and flat all the way around, even in the back as well as you guys can see. So I use lots of T-pins. So let's start sewing this baby on. I'm removing one of the T-pins and I have my needle already threaded. And as you guys can see, my first loop is always like tying a knot in a way. And I also want to note here that I'm not going through that elastic band at all. Please do not sew through the elastic band because it will prevent your unit from stretching when you're done. And your cap is nine times out of 10 going to be too small for your head. So I put a lot of these tips in my first video that I made of a full wig with a lace closure. So definitely check that video out if you want a more detailed like experience in how to make a wig because pretty much using those same techniques but just tweaking it a little bit. So what I'm going to what I'm doing here actually, not what I'm going to do. What I'm doing here is sewing down this first side of the frontal and also sewing like a few stitchings in the very back of the lace frontal, but I'm not going to stitch it all the way over to the other side because I did find that it left a lot of lumps and bumps in the frontal, especially in the back area. So it's a lot better for you to do one side first and then move on to the other side and then, you know, catch it up with the back area. So as you guys can see, I've switched to the other side now and I'm just going to stitch through, not through that elastic band, but I'm just going to stitch and finish it up. And as you guys can see, I'm doing kind of like a looping method where you see my left hand is up and it's kind of made a loop. And then I always put the pin or the um, needle right through that to kind of tie a knot. And also I want to mention that you guys want to make sure that these stitchings are really close together and not super spaced out because that's what's going to ensure that your lace frontal lays flat. Now you will see at the end of this that mine did have a few like slight bumps in it, but they definitely were not noticeable once I finished the unit. So I'm finishing up with the last stitching for the frontal and tying a few knots to make sure it's secure and this is what it looks like. So as you guys can see it's very flat except for in like a few spaces but the stitching is super close together. 
So now moving on to our bundles, I'm gonna be first using a 20 inch bundle and I'm just mapping out where I want it to be laid down before I go in stitching it. And you're gonna see in a moment that I'm actually gonna secure one side with a T-pin because it just makes the process a lot easier and it makes it go by a lot faster. So right here I am putting my needle through the weft through the weft because we want to do that starting out to make sure that it's nice and secure and then also looping it right here doing some type of a knot to make sure that it's not going to move and then we're just going to move on to our whole looping method as you guys can see my left hand is at the top holding you know the thread in a loop and then I'm pulling the needle through that loop and I just continue to do that through the entire process. As you guys can see here, I'm not stitching it as closely together because it's definitely not necessary, especially here because it's at the nape of the neck. But you know, do what you feel. If you want to do it a lot closer together, you can, but I find that it's just like wasting a whole lot of thread for no reason. Okay, so once we get to the end of this row, you're going to see that I'm going through the weft one more time just to make sure that this side is secure before continuing on with the next row. And I am like flipping over the tracks in this tutorial because I just find that cutting them is just like a waste of time and it also creates a lot of extra shedding. So you guys can see I'm still using those T-pins to make sure that it's not moving and it's helping me out a lot and making the process a lot faster. So I go through the weft twice when I'm actually folding it over and continuing on with the next row. It's a lot easier for you guys to just watch than for me to explain it because I end up getting confused when I explain it. So just continue to watch. Now we're moving on. This is the second 20 inch bundle that I've used. I ended up using two 20 inch bundles and one 18 inch bundle. So what you wanna do is sew through the weft and then sew as close to that hairline on the lace frontal. Now this is the side of the lace frontal and this step is crucial. If you guys do not get this right, people are gonna know that this is not your hair or what looks to be your hair. So you wanna stitch it as close as possible as you can without going through that elastic band. That's also still important. Do not go through that elastic band, you guys, like ever. So I'm just gonna continue to stitch, stitch, stitch and finish up with this 20 inch bundle and I will catch back up with you guys in a second once we get to the very top. Okay, you guys, so we have finally made it to the top. There's like an inch of space left here, and I am going to be going through the weft, as you guys can see, and I'm now going to be stitching this last piece of the track or bundle as close as possible to the back of the lace frontal. So we're doing pretty much the same method that we used when we were stitching on the sides of the lace frontal. We want to make sure that it looks really seamless so no one knows where it ends or begins. And right here I'm cutting off the extra bundle because I know I only need about that much left. And I'm just going to continue to stitch and at the very end of this little piece I'm going to go through the weft one more time and then go through that lace frontal and then tie it in a good knot and that's gonna be pretty much it for this entire unit. 
so once we've completed the last of the stitching this is what the cap looks like inside as you can see there is a lot of extra cap that's covering the lace frontal so we just want to carefully cut this off because I have had instances where I've cut it and accidentally cut some of the stitching that I put down so definitely pay close attention when you're cutting this off because you don't want to mess up all that hard work so once we have cut all of that off, this is what the lace frontal looks like. All of that space that you have to work with, yes! <laughs> and we're going to pop that baby back on the mannequin head so you guys can really see what it's looking like. And this is pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial of how I made my very first lace frontal wig. Hopefully you guys will give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And until next time, I will see all of you beauties later. Bye.